So in the first attempt, the bone tube was too long, and so there was too much friction, so the extruder couldn't actually push the filament through. Also, I hadn't set the hot end to the right temperature, so the filament wasn't melting correctly. So in the second attempt, I fixed those problems, but then what happened was that I homed the hot end, and it melted through the print bed, see here. Um, so, I replaced the print bed with this new one. So it's now the fourth attempt. Oh my god. So it turns out that I had the y-axis and the x-axis swapped around here. So I fixed that. And hopefully that will fix some issues, I don't know, maybe. So I'm just going to start test six. Uh... For some reason nothing's coming out. So I contacted some other 3D printer users on Stack Exchange and I found out that the problem I had is called heat creep. Basically that's where um, this top part isn't being cooled and so the heat goes up, softens the filament and then that bunches together. And so essentially the only way to fix this is to get a new hot end which actually has um, not a wood block but a real cooling a cold end it's called and it needs to have a fan so I'm going to need to buy a new hot end okay so since the hot end didn't work and the printer was unable to extrude for the time being I've replaced it with this pen here so this should allow me to draw so I want to demonstrate just how accurate the CD drives are despite the fact that it can't actually extrude in plastic so in order to draw something I have to make the 3D printer think that that drawing is a 3D print. So first I find an image of what I want to draw on the internet. So here is a vector image of Homer Simpson. I then take that and I upload it to Inkspace, which is a um, vector drawing program. So I downloaded an extension which turns the vector image into G-code which can then be used to let my 3D printer draw it. So, so I go to the extension, click generate from G-code. Okay, so everything set to work. So I'll just give it a name, Homer Simpson. Okay. Okay, next I get um, pronto face up and I click load file okay click open okay so you can see it so that's what it's gonna do if I go in 3d mode you can see the parts higher up there um, where it's not gonna be touching the page and the low down parts are where we'll be drawing so I just click print now it should work Okay, so you can see it's drawing Homer Simpson.
Okay, so it's getting a bit stuck there. It's a bit annoying. So here's the Homer Simpson that it drew. You can see. Uh, it messed up a bit in the hand. So this corner is the highest, while this corner is lowest. So things tend to get stuck here and don't actually get shown here. Okay, so I found this vector image of Sonic the Hedgehog and I'm going to try and draw it with the 3D printer. So I converted it to a path on Inkspace and then I converted it to G-code. If I go to Pronterface and I load the file, um, you can see it's there. That's it. So this is already calibrated, so there's no need to home it again. So I'll just click print and it should work. It's just doing the mouth. So this is much more complicated than Homer Simpson. There's a lot more lines and they're much more closer together. There's a lot of possibility for failure. The part it might fail on is when it gets to the top. Okay, I don't think it's failed yet, but not be certain. Okay, so that's Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, so here's the new hot end. Okay, so it has this improved uh, nozzle. It has all these circular discs which increase the surface tension and kind of act as a heat sink for it. Most importantly, it has this fan which will keep this cool down constantly. And um, it has a real adapter which allows me to connect the Bowden tube and so I don't have to use this wooden thing. And all these changes should mean that the heat no longer goes up here, melting the filament and causing jams. Okay, so I've decided that in order to attach this hot end, I'm going to mount the fan to this metal plate. Okay, so what I need to do now is drill four holes in the metal plate so that I can screw it to it. So I'm now ready to start test number 14 on the 3D printer. Okay, so I've now attached the new hot end, and the major difference is that it has this fan. So what this does is it cools down this area here, so that although this is hot, this won't be hot. That way the filament won't expand when it gets here, which should stop the jamming. Okay, so nothing came out. Okay, so I've now um, replaced uh, my homemade extruder with this real extruder because I was thinking maybe it's just not powerful enough. So I'll try that, see if that makes a difference. Zero bed adhesion. Okay, so I'm going to do test number 17 now. So it seems I have to do it slightly higher than that. It just won't work. Okay, so this is test number 18.
Okay, so before um, I printed all of these, essentially what's happening is every time the print will be doing the first few layers well, then maybe one of the layer, one of the layers, the print will go a little bit too high, the nozzle will hit into it, get stuck, and then it will misalign and start creating the next layer slightly off. This is test number 24. Still doing that curling thing. So uh, this is probably test number twenty-seven. It's been failing quite a lot. Uh, the difference with this one is that you see there's no credit card, so uh, I've added a little bit of G-code at the start, which should raise it by 1.5 millimeters before starting anything. Not bad. That's pretty good. Probably the best I've seen to date. Ooh, it's doing it really well. Okay, we're seeing some problems now though. That was severely under extruded I think. Yeah. Getting our first problems. Ooh. There we go. It ended. I'm gonna stop it before it gets really bad. Hey this is print number twenty nine. Bad. Maybe caused by under extrusion. There's uh, some problems, I think. The under extrusion won't cause any problems. It's only over extrusion which does. I'm waiting for the failure. No, that was it. This is gonna be 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 it. Ooh, there's the failure. Ah, okay, let's stop it. Okay, so it's got a slightly higher current on the y-axis. And it's doing 1.7 millimeter level height. Look at that. It's, it's working, it's smoke. It's really bad. It's the smoke in here. There we go. I've got this counter, I've got this counter. That's cool. That's almost four layers. So that's uh, the most I've done yet. Uh, For some reason there was smoke coming from the back, I really don't know what that is, I'm going to have to fix that. Okay, so this is the most, yeah, that's, that's good, that's promising. 
So on Saturday I was trying to add this fan to cool down the MOSFETs and wires to prevent that weird black smoke that I saw on the last test print. And for some reason, I'm not sure, a spark suddenly appeared and it burnt out the stepper drivers. You see them here. And I don't have the ability to get replacements for them. And the presentation, the final due date for this thing, is tomorrow. So, I've just been adding a couple extra improvements to this, but I can't actually get it to work tomorrow. Um, maybe I can do a drawing thing, that only requires two stepper drivers, but I can't get the full thing with the extruder and all three axes. This is really annoying because I've worked so hard on this and now I won't even get to present it. So, it's currently 1.40, you can see the time here, yeah, so it's currently 1.45, it's almost 2 o'clock, and I'm currently working on the video, which I, this is going to be part of the video I'm making, it's going to go there, right at the end, and I need to upload this for tomorrow because since I'm not going to be able to actually show this working people are going to need to see my videos and all my evidence for this uh, yeah if I had more time I'd be able to get replacements and I'd be able to show this working that just isn't the case